And earlier this morning, I spoke to two of the president's grandchildren, Marshall and Ashley Bush. Marshall and Ashley, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And Marshall, let me begin with you. I spoke to Secretary Baker yesterday about your grandfather's final hours, and I know you were there as well. What can you share? Oh, you know, it was just really peaceful. I was so happy that I could be there for him and with my family and our closest family friends and just be able to make sure that he knew we were there, he knew we loved him, you know, just comfort him as much as we can and um, try and make the very last part of his life as comfortable and loving as he made ours. You know, he expressed so much of that love in his letters to so many people, including you, Ashley. I know he wrote you a letter the first, the day you were born, also a little bit later in your life. I, I love this letter, and I just want to read a little bit for our audience. Dear Ashley, darn it. When your class is having that play on November 25th, your old <laughs> grandfather's going to be in Frankfurt, Germany. But he said he loved watching you in the opera through his binoculars, and he was very, very proud of you. That must have been so special. It really was. And I was thinking about how, I mean, our grandfather belonged, of course, to us, but also to the world. But yet he would have these moments and come to our plays and even make cameos in our high school musicals. Like, <laughs> I mean, it, it's very grounded. He's, while he was a part of the whole world, he was very grounded. And certainly made us all feel very loved and made us feel very special. And, and Marcia, you were old enough to, to, to be around during those days in the White House. What was that like? You know, as crazy as it sounds, it was very normal for me because when I was born, uh, he was in the vice president's house. And then from about three to seven, he was in the White House. So really to me, and again, it's completely bizarre, but that the White House was just my grandfather's house, my grandparents' house and where they lived and where I went and hung out with them and went swimming in their pool and played with their dogs. And, you know, it was it was normal life to me, which, again, I know is completely crazy, but um, it's it's just how it was. It was like anyone going to see their grandparents with a little extra security. <laughs> so. which, which always helps. And Ashley, what's the what's the big lesson you take away from your grandfather's life? Uh, I think the biggest for me is humility. <laughs> um, one second, yes. Um, I just, I, so a, a couple of years ago, I sat down and asked him a few questions. I was just so struck by his humility. Uh, one question in particular, I asked what event had impacted him the most in his life, and he talked about when he was a 20-year-old pilot, and he teared up and how that has sort of motivated and inspired him for the rest of his life to have this humility that he, he continues to live with and um, share with everybody. Marshall, you must feel lucky as your grandfather. Unbelievably, unbelievably. Could not have had a better influence or really partner in life. I mean, he supported us, as Ashley mentioned, in every single thing we did, <laughs> as silly as it was from, you know, our school plays to just, you know, having a tough day at wherever. He was always there to listen, always there to love. And to me, that's the most important thing he taught me is, you know, family always comes first and you do what you can to help the world. And he always tried to make us laugh. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he did like to make us laugh. There was a, never a moment. I mean, I, I feel like till the very end, he was cracking jokes. And <laughs> he had, he had a goofy side, didn't very... he? <laughs> he did. An yeah. incredibly goofy side. Yeah, he, he certainly did. And he, <laughs> he did a lot of silly, completely ridiculous things just to make sure that we were all smiling and laughing and having fun. So. It's good to hear you smile and laugh this morning. Thank you both very much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Just charming. You know, they'll mm. both be there to say farewell to their grandfather later this morning. We're going to cover all of the tributes this week, including the state funeral on Wednesday.